All right, this is John Krasinski, Pittsburgh Soccer Now, here with Shane White. Uh, Shane, uh, a new river hound, but not new to Pittsburgh, obviously. Um, you know, what was the uh, off-season like, I know, in terms of getting, you know, being able to um, come here and have an opportunity to earn a spot on this on this squad and, uh, and come back to a city where you played at least a couple years in college at, at, at Pitt? Yeah, uh, off season, you know, it's a little. If you don't have a team or a contract lined up, it can be a little uncertain. It can be a little scary, but uh, just plugging away every day that I could. And thankfully, I, I had some guys around me that were pros or ex pros that I could train with, so that was good. But eventually, I had an opportunity to come here and earn a contract on trial. And you know, being back in Pittsburgh, it's it's comforting because I was here for about a year or so, and um, had good experience here too. So. Yeah, let's get right to that. Let's let's uh, get off track a little bit and talk about Pitt. Um, your experience there. Um, first of all, how did you, you know, did you get recruited by Jay or you know or Rich or what? What was the how, what got you to Pitt? Well, I was at the University of Akron for about three three and a half years, and then I was just transferring. Um, unfortunately, while I was there, the transfer portal wasn't really a thing, so I had a teammate. Well, I guess two teammates, Bryce Cregan right. and Robbie Danbrot, they both transferred mm -hmm. for me. And I had heard good things about Jay and the coaching staff and the team and what they were trying to build there. So um, it, was, it was kind of a no-brainer to reach out and just see where I could go with things. So Yeah, that was a – you were kind of coming in at a pretty exciting time. It was, you know, not quite – you know where they went, where they got to this past year, but I mean, still, it was pretty exciting to be there at that mm -hmm. time, right? Yeah, yes, yeah, it was. It was probably in the middle of their uh, building block, I would say, mm -hmm. of where they're at. At least how they finished this past year was incredible. So, I like to say I maybe helped lay a little bit more foundation, but you know, it's a credit to all the guys that Jay's brought in and all the hard work that they put in to see where they're at now. Yeah, and just maybe. Uh, what your kind of your thoughts on Jay as a coach, and what he meant, to, you know, your, to your development, or just being part of that program, yeah. as far as your development. I think I think Jay and the coaching staff there definitely helped push me and develop me, just in fine tuning some different parts of my game. For example, just making sure my hips were always in the correct position, or just being able to read different situations. So it was nice to be able to come in and just have a fresh set of. Um, I guess faces are just coaching points to be able to hear and kind of keep me on my toes. So it was, it was a good experience. And uh, I understand you were, you you know, developmentally, you played uh, during your college years, you played with a few different clubs, but I mean, uh, Erie, right, you yeah. were in Erie for a bit. Yeah. Um, were you were you in Erie when they played the Hounds in the... Um, the Open Cup? Open Cup, yeah. Uh, I, no, I wasn't. Okay. I wasn't that year. I, th I don't know if that was a year before or after, mm -hmm. but I remember hearing about that. So yeah. I would assume it was the year before. What, what, that, what was that? Um, you know, that seems like a unique place to be, right up on the lake shores of Lake Erie there. Um, just that experience. What was that experience like? It was good. It was definitely a good way for me to get some games in because <laughs> previously I didn't get a ton of experience in my early years of college. So... Um, it was a nice way to get some games under my belt, but I mean, usually whenever you go to an NPSL team or those summer summer league teams, it's always a great group of guys. It's it's a lot of good fun. And it's it was in whenever I would see the the Commodores roster, it seemed like guys were from all. It wasn't unique to just that yeah, region, definitely. but the Commodores for whatever reason, it just seemed like guys gravitated from a lot of different places just to come up there for the summer. I mean. Was it, that's true. I mean, yeah, it was a lot of different. For sure, yeah. It was, it was very diverse. A lot of guys from England, Ireland, uh, I remember Brazil. Um, just guys from all over. Guys playing at NAI schools, D2, D3. It was, a, it was a big collection of people, so it was, it was awesome. Yeah, and then even for that level, like, there was there were supporters that would come to the games and stuff. What was that like? It was good. It's always fun to see fans out there yeah. have people screaming. Always gives you a little extra push, so. <laughs> so fun. Any uh, any any unique uh, stories about uh, those NPSL days in terms of crazy bus trips or weather or any unique things that happened? Honestly, none off the top of my head <laughs> that I can think of. None that are maybe very appropriate. Right, sure. right. There you go. Um, all right. Well, you know, now you're here, and Bob Lilly obviously is the head coach, and you've you've you know. I, I've seen, he's seen you play before because uh, you were with Loudon and whatnot. Right. I mean, what's uh, what's uh, you know even before the season started, kind of what was the expectation um, 
or he wanted from you in terms of you know being part of a, a back line that's kind of almost a, a brand new group of guys yeah I think just from the start he wants you to listen and soak in the information that he's giving just be laser focused locked in on the concepts that he's trying to push out and give to us and I mean, I was all ears coming in. I wanted to make. I didn't want to just get a contract. I wanted to earn a starting position. So mm -hmm. I was doing everything I could just to hear what he had to say and try and implement that in my game. And what was it like to play against the Riverhounds for a couple of years before you came? What was that like? It was. It was always fun. It was a challenge just because I, obviously, playing at the University of Pitt, I we actually would play against the Hounds a few times right. just in some scrimmages. So I don't know. I'd like to. I feel like whenever I did play against them, I had a little chip on my shoulder. I wanted to try and ball, but um, you know, it was always a good experience. They're always a tough team, very organized, mm -hmm. especially when they get up. They're always very compact in the back, so it's hard to break them down. For sure. And then, and you know, your role, I mean, where, where do you see yourself as, um, you know, obviously a center back? I mean, do you feel comfortable with the ball at your feet? What, what, if someone was, wanted to learn more about you as a player, what, what, what would you say are some of your, your primary attributes? Um, I would say I'm fairly decent with my feet. I like to try and play balls through the lines and maybe some longer balls, hit some diagonals. Um, definitely try and be a leader out there and communicate to the guys around me. So it's uh, just being in the back line, especially in the middle, you see a lot of the field. Yeah. And I think it's important for, especially a center back, to be a leader back there. Yeah, and having played Bob's track record of success as a defensive coach, I'm sure Probably you, you were pretty excited to you know to be a part of something like that. Yeah, of course. It's always it's always fun coming into a new system and learning new things. And then not only that, but you have a track record of a coach who's done well for himself. And then you can try and insert yourself in there and be able to say that you contributed to that. It's always a good thing. All right. So hopefully, um, you know, we'll, we'll talk some more as the season moves along. But uh, it's great to finally connect with you and. Uh, Good luck the rest of the way. Yeah, of course. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Shane. Yep. All right.